Hey guys, uh, just going to do a quick video tonight. Um, I'm going to basically do the proof of concept, but I'm not going to do the uh, the full install, mostly because it's going to be, I don't know, a couple hours of me sitting here with a file and swearing. Uh, so I figure I might as well watch some Netflix while I'm doing it. But that doesn't mean I can't show you how I'm going to do it. So, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm going to be adding some brightness control to my Freckle Shack Game Boy Color here. Uh, I've already got this disassembled, but um, the, the story behind this, Ben Ben posted a, uh, an update basically on his Facebook a little while back, uh, about a month ago regarding brightness control in units that do not come with it. Now, my unit is batch one, which means it did not come with brightness control. I think as of either batch three or batch four or newer, all the units are coming with brightness control. So if you have one that has brightness control, don't bother with this. This is gonna be a waste of time. But if you do have a unit that does not have brightness control, then you know maybe this is something cool to try out. So. He says that this resistor on the PCB here, it's R3, uh, that controls the current going to the backlight here. So by default, uh, or I guess the stock resistor that comes with the that comes installed on your Freckle Shack board, that's a 680 ohm resistor. Uh, but he says you can replace that. Basically, the lower the ohms, the brighter your backlight. Or even higher ohms if you want to have a uh, less bright backlight, you know, save, save a little bit of battery life. But I had an idea. He said, you know, up to 880-ish is pretty dark and down to 220-ish is pretty bright. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this resistor. Oh, and by the way, if you value having a warranty, don't do this. If you don't care about having warranty, then, well, shit, knock yourself out. If I can even get this thing desoldered. I don't really care about this resistor. I don't really care to save it, that is. What the hell? So I'm going to just flood it with solder. Get a big old solder ball on there. There we go. And it's right there. All right. I'm gonna clean this up here. Just some isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab. Get all that flux residue off. Okay. So, anyway, as I was saying, sorry, I get distracted pretty damn easily. Um, Ben Ben says you could use basically anywhere from 220 to 800 ohm resistor. Uh, I have right here a 220 ohm resistor, brand new, still in the uh, little real packaging that they send it to you. I ordered a whole shitload of these on Arrow. I don't remember what specifically I ordered this one for, but I sure as hell didn't need 100 for the project I was working on. But uh, anyway... Let's get this out of here. Like I said, that's just 220 ohms. Nothing special. But I'm going to trade hands here. I'm going to solder it with the numbers up just because I like that better. But I'm not going to solder it across the two terminals here. I'm just going to solder it on one terminal. And you'll see why in just a moment. And just adding some fresh solder to that. Okay. Next, I'm going to take one of these wires that I already cut, solder it to the other terminal or other pad, I guess. Need to add some solder to this side of the resistor here. Just 
attach this wire here. Okay. Next, the idea, and like I said, I'm not going to be doing this on camera here because it's going to be a whole lot of bitching, but I already did try a test fit in this blue shell here, and uh, well, I'm going to be using a, uh, basically a volume wheel. So the idea is this is a 1K variable resistor. So, you know, you have it all the way down, there's zero resistance. You have it all the way up, it's up to 1,000 ohms of resistance. Uh, I ultimately settled upon putting it right there, even though I'm using a clear shell, well, this clear shell here. Um, but I'm just testing it out in the blue shell because I didn't want to ruin my nice OEM shell. Uh, but I settled upon this spot because that's, quite frankly, the best place I can figure out to put that. Uh, I drilled, I cut this hole by drilling a series of small holes, I think with a 564th drill bit. Um, I don't know, what, whatever works, whatever you have. And then just kind of trying to even it out with a needle file here. Uh, originally, I wanted to have it right up here so it was poking out the top. But after, I don't know. Spent about an hour trying to get it to fit. I even sanded it down so the wheel itself is thinner. It it just it wasn't happening. Um, long story short, between the LCD connector and get this out here, these surface mount components right here, it's it's just not going to happen. So this I think is going to be significantly easier. So that being said. I've already glued that into this shell. I can probably remove it without too much hassle, but I'll be uh, installing it in the other shell later. And the goal is to not do what I just did. This is why you don't make videos past your bedtime. I just ruined this wheel, so I'm not going to worry too much about getting it out of this unit. But... Should still work for demonstration purpose. Alright. So, let's get this reinstalled here. And of course this is going to be a bit of a hassle. I probably should have gotten this all set up first and then reinstalled, or then soldered the wires. just going to leave these coming out the side here. And we don't need start and select for now. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. Didn't even realize. Oh well. You know what putting a screw in looks like. Alright. Oh, and I fucked that up too. Alright, we'll use my power supply here then. Alright. So all goes as planned. Still boots up just fine, but you can use this wheel 
and that range is pitiful. All right, I'll have to do some more tweaking. But, uh, I don't know. For a proof of concept, what do you guys think? Pretty cool? I think so. I'll have to figure out how to route the wires a little bit better, and, yeah. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it gets even brighter if you actually spin the wheel all the way. Okay, so that stops. That's as low as it goes. And then that's as high as it goes. It's significantly brighter than it was. But, uh... Yeah, because I fucked up the wheel, so I was getting hung up on the shell there. But yeah, I, I, I think this is cool as heck. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any better ideas on where to put this... I would be very interested in hearing about it. Um, if you have any better ideas as far as actually installing it, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I think this is pretty cool. I'm going to now spend a few hours cutting up this nice OEM shell and hopefully not completely ruining it. And um, well, I guess thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.